Welcome back to video lecture series on feedback amplifier. In this video, I am going to discuss about topologies of feedback amplifier. There are four different topologies for a feedback amplifier. I am going to discuss one by one. Okay. In the last video, we have seen the concept of feedback amplifier. What we have seen in the case of feedback amplifier that certain portion of output voltage or output signal is taken and fed back to the input terminal. But the question is how we can, what are the different ways to sample the output signal? Output signal can be sampled by connecting feedback network in two different configuration. One is in shunt configuration with output, which we are calling voltage sampling or in series with output, which we are calling current sampling. Okay. It will be clear in a while that why shunt is calling voltage sampling and series configuration is calling current sampling. Now, once we sampled the output signal, then that sampled feedback signal can be fed to input by connecting feedback network again in two different configuration. In series with input, which we are calling series mixing and in shunt with input, which we are calling shunt mixing. Okay. After knowing these four different types of connection, two in output and two in input, by combining them, we can generate four different topology for a feedback amplifier. So sometimes people used to say that there are four different types of feedback amplifier, but I would say that four different types of feedback amplifier from topological point of view. And types of feedback, there are two different types of feedback amplifier. One is negative feedback amplifier, one is positive feedback amplifier. So come back here. These are the four different types of feedback amplifier from topological point of view. The first one is voltage series feedback or voltage sampling series mixing, voltage shunt feedback or voltage sampling shunt mixing, current series feedback or current sampling series mixing, current shunt feedback or current sampling shunt mixing. Let's come to them one by one. The first one is voltage series feedback. If you look at here, this is amplifier, just an internal amplifier. And now feedback network is connected. Look at the output terminal. In the output terminal, feedback network is connected in parallel configuration, right? Or in shunt configuration, okay? That means this is voltage sampling. Why? We know potential drop across two points is always same, right? So here, output voltage is taken between two terminals. And from exactly same terminal, we are taking the feedback signal, right? That means we are sampling same voltage. So that is why it is calling voltage sampling. And in the input terminal, the circuit is connected in the series configuration. So voltage series feedback or voltage sampling series mixing. In the input, signal is mixed in the series configuration. And in the output, we are sampling the voltage. This is the practical example of voltage series feedback circuit. This is an emitter follower circuit. Here you can easily see that output voltage is coming across RL and that voltage is connected in series with VS. So in the input, which is VS, there is a series connection. Okay. And what it is sampling is exactly the output voltage. Okay. So here, you can easily judge from VI, which is the input voltage for the amplifier, is the summation of VS, signal voltage and output voltage. Okay. So we are sampling voltage here and that is fed back to the circuit in series configuration. Next one is voltage shunt feedback. Internal amplifier and here at the both input and output terminal connection are in the shunt configuration. So for the output, it is voltage sampling because connection is shunt and in the input connection is in the shunt form. So shunt mixing, therefore we calling it a voltage sampling shunt mixing. This is the practical example of voltage sampling shunt mixing circuit, right? Now move on the third one, current series feedback or current sampling series mixing. So internal amplifier and Feedback network both connected in the form of series at both output and input terminal. So at output terminal, when the connection is in the form of series, then we know 
that exactly we are not getting same voltage as of output but instead because of the series configuration we know that current flow in a series okay in a loop that means what we are getting is basically current if output terminal is across some resistor r then from internal amplifier the current will flow through that resistance and then it will go back to the feedback network right because this is the series configuration there is a loop so what we are getting from the output is current instead of voltage we can think in the form of current so what we are sampling is basically current at the output terminal okay and in the input you can see there is a series configuration so current sampling series mixing this is the practical example of that kind of circuit current series feedback and the last and final one current sent feedback so this is internal amplifier and feedback network is connected in the form of sent in the input and series at the output so as the connection at output is in the form of series so what we are sampling current as i explained for the previous case and as the input terminal connected with feedback network in the form of sunt so this is sunt mixing so what we are calling it a current sunt feedback this is the practical example of that kind of circuit so let's summarize the things at the output if the connection is in the form of sunt we are sampling voltage and if the connection is in the form of series we are sampling current and for the input side if connection is sunt then we are calling it sunt mixing and if connection is series we are calling it a series mixing so hope all this block diagram and explanation is clear to you see you in the next lecture where i am going to discuss about the advantage of negative feedback and we will see how the input impedance output impedance and uh, noise distortion many other things changes with the feedback okay see you